Welcome to another Centre for Teaching and Learning Innovation How To Vodcast. Today, what we're going to be looking at is how to set up your own PB Wiki. PB Wiki stands for Peanut Butter Wiki, and according to the developers, it's as easy to set up as making a peanut butter sandwich. So first of all, we're going to go to the PB Wiki site. So type in PB Wiki into the address bar at the top of your browser. This could be Firefox or Internet Explorer um, or any other browser that you enjoy using. You'll see this page pops up. Click Create a Wiki. Just put your name into the first box and your email address. The email address is important because this is where um, you'll get a, a email sent to you that you have to open and click to prove that you are in fact a live person setting up this wiki rather than a machine. It's kind of like a security check. Use a password that you're going to be able to remember. Um, so maybe the password that you usually use for uh, your applications and so on at Unitech. And a wiki name. This can be pretty much anything that you like. Um, it's wise to choose something that is meaningful. So because I'm demonstrating how to set up PB Wiki, we'll call this. It shouldn't have, because it's a URL, it shouldn't have capital letters or spaces. Choose, what is this Wiki for? Choose for education. And do go for the PB Wiki version two. Then you just click create my wiki. This message comes up, check your email to get started. Um, this is the confirmation message that I was mentioning before. It does suggest that you check your spam folder if the confirmation message doesn't turn up. So I'll just go and check my messages, sign into my email. And here we go, here's the PB Wiki email, so I'll just click on that. And you'll see a little message here saying you um, created your PB Wiki, and all you have to do is click this link here. Until you log in for the first time, someone else could still take the name. To finish creating your Wiki, click below. So you just click that and the link takes you straight back to PB Wiki. You can choose whether you want to make your wiki public or private. If you make it public, it means anyone can see it. If you make it private, then you can choose people to come to um, visit your wiki. It depends on what you want to put in the wiki, um, the types of material, the, photo, the images, the, the any videos that you put in there. Um, it could be ref a reflective type um, process which you don't really want to share with people or you only want to share with say your instructor or with close friends. Um, the good thing about this is you can start off with it private and then change the settings to public uh, if you want to change the purpose of the wiki. So say later you want it to be a forum to advertise a particular place or process then you can change the setting to um, public. I'm going to leave this as public because I want all of you to be able to see this. You then just click I agree to the PB Terms of Service and this is the, you can kind of ignore this unless you want to pay for your wiki you can ignore this page and you'll see continue trying out the free version halfway down the page you just click no thanks just take me to my wiki. Do feel free to upgrade if you want to though, but you don't have to. And 
this is your initial page here there's quite a few different um, demos that you can go and watch so you've got your managing projects you've got new features um, the templates you have to pay for <laughs> just as a just as a um, point of interest now if you want to change the color and the look of the wiki just click settings and this brings you to this page this is also where you can invite users so say say you want uh, your instructor to be able to see your wiki but nobody else you pop in their email address here you decide what level of access you want them and then you can add invite um, and don't forget to give your uh, instructor the password if you set it up as private you'll have to put in a password for your wiki so what we can do is we can put in a logo and we can change the colors so let's start by changing some colors here I quite like the green so we'll go for green if you don't like it when you see it um, you can always change it again you can change the time on your wiki if you want to use templates you'd have to upgrade and you can add a logo so let's see what we've got here okay and we're gonna return to the home page and you'll see the logo up here you'll also see that PB wiki has changed the look of the PB of the um, skin uh, to match my logo so first thing to do is create a front page and today what I'd like you to do is set up your own presence so you click up click edit you'll see over here you can add pages and you can also add images and files so what we'll do here is welcome to so change change the title to something that's going to make sense welcome to you can change as as with word you can change um, the color of the font so we can change this to uh, let's go for there we go you can't really see the difference but um, and then something along the lines of um, then you're going to add your name an image of yourself that you just browse for as usual and upload once it's hit once it's uploaded you'll see it here you'll be able to click on it if you put tags into the page if you get a lot of pages it's then much easier to search for and find your pages so we'll just put in a tag here introduction um, home page and images then importantly remember to click save and there we go you can use your sidebar as a menu so what we can do is click edit the sidebar and we're going to insert a link here so we'll just delete that and click the link and it shows you PB wiki page but you can also have links to URLs emails and so on but we're going to keep it as a PB wiki page and we're going to have a link to the front page and just click OK and there you go again remember to click save and then if you click front page it takes you directly to the front page and you'll see the link here 
You can also create folders. The folders mean that you can keep things a lot more organized. So um, I might have in here videos. And another one called uh, reflections. Once you've created the folders, you can then click on the folder and add pages within that folder. And just edit as usual. And click save. We can put a link to that in the sidebar again. So click edit in the sidebar. Click the link. And what you'll see now is how to videos comes up in the list of pages. And click save. You can also see down here what I've done today um, and you can set up RSS feed um, as can your instructor to see when you've made any changes or uh, if you want other people to be able to see whenever you've made changes without actually having to visit your site every time. And you can look at the revisions. What this means is if you make a mistake or you don't like what you've done, you can revert to a previous version. So you can compare the versions that you've set up um, or you can just click on it and it will take you back to that version. You can then revert to this version have a look at the page history or view the current version. So you've got quite a lot of flexibility as to what you want to do. If you've got any questions about um, wikis and how to use wikis, then please do let me know. My email is hoin at unitech.ac.nz. I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions and look forward to working with you. Thank you very much for your time.